Before I get into the video, I just want to give a huge shout out and a huge thanks to everybody that came up and saw me and got me to sign cards, chatted with me, sat down and had discussions with me at the 200th YCS this past weekend in Columbus, Ohio. I really didn't expect to be approached by that many people. I got seen and talked to by tons of people throughout the entire course of the weekend. It was actually really a humbling experience and it actually sort of re like validated my sense of what I'm doing with this channel. So it actually made me a lot more excited to play Yu-Gi-Oh! It made my weekend a lot more fun than it already was, which it was already a blast, but it just made it better. And it also just made me really excited to start pouring more time into the streams and the channel. So like I told you guys there, and like I'll say to you guys watching this video now, Thank you so much for the support that you give the channel, watching the videos, liking the videos, commenting on the videos, and all that sort of stuff. It truly does mean a lot, and I would not be here doing this if it was not for you guys. So thank you, sincerely. But with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, and this time it is going to be another Genix Undyne related World Chalice combo tutorial. I'm going to be showing you two separate combo sequences in this video. One is Genix Undyne plus World Legacy World Chalice, and the other is Genix Undyne plus Brilliant Fusion. These are updated combo sequences that I found over the weekend in the 200th YCS at Columbus, Ohio. Uh, basically, on the way to Columbus, Ohio, it's a 10 hour drive from Georgia, so I was very bored. I started mentally solitaring hands while I was driving. Uh, because it was just really boring and I needed something to keep myself mentally stimulated and awake while I was driving through the night while all my friends were asleep in the car. I got to the hotel, double checked that the combos worked through solitaring, and they actually worked. It was really, really comforting to know that I was able to do all this in my head and then it all just translated perfectly to cards. Uh, but basically, what this does is Undyne plus either of those two cards allows you to search the Agent of Creation Venus, summon it to the field, get all the balls out of your deck, thin your deck by a ton of cards because you're getting the entire Undyne and the entire Venus engine out of your deck, and then afterwards you get to draw three cards within Girsu, Gumblar your opponent for four cards out of their hands, and end on a live firewall for one bounce at bare minimum. So it's actually a combo that does quite a lot, and it's very expandable in terms of what you can do in the later stages. But so I'm not going to waste too much time telling you about like what the combo can do, rather when I could just show you what it does. But in order to trigger Firewall Dragon at one specific point in the combo, you do have to have a monster in your hand, but it's not a combo piece. You're not going to be using it at any point during the combo sequence. It's just something you need in your hand in order to trigger Firewall Dragon to get the best result at the specific point in time. But even if you don't have a monster in your other three cards in your hand, this combo does still work. You just do not get to end on a live Firewall Bounce. You still get to Gumblar for four, draw three, all that sort of stuff. You just don't get to add two back off Firewall, and that means that you don't get to uh, you don't get to revive Firewall with Orum because you have to use your Orum revive on something else that you were going to bounce with Firewall anyway. So, with that out of the way, Undyne gets normal summoned. Undyne uses its effect, sending Controller to Grave, uh, sending Rosenix to Grave, adding Controller to your hand. Card would be much different if it sent Controller to Grave. Would be much worse. But so you're gonna banish Rosenix, get the token. And then you're going to go into a Link Spider with the token and use Link Spider to special controller out of your hand. Now from here, you are going to link the controller into Imduk and use Imduk's additional normal summon, tributing either the Link Spider or the Gen X Undyne for your World Legacy World Chalice. You're leaving Imduk on the field for a very specific reason. So then you're going to go into Reaper Dacus over the Imduk. World Legacy World Chalice's grave effect is going to trigger, summoning your Lee and your Guard Dragon from your deck. Now your Lee is going to go in the center monster zone and your World Child's Guard Dragon is going to go in the far left. Now your Lee will trigger, searching for World Legacy World Chalice, and then you get to make Summon Sorceress with the Reaper Dacus and the Imduk after you use Reaper Dacus to change the Imduk to a dinosaur from a dragon. Sounds like a downgrade, if I'm honest with you. But so you make Summon Sorceress, you use Imduk's Grave Effect, and you are not going to use Summon Sorceress's effect here. And you're going to special summon the World Legacy World Chalice either here or here. It doesn't matter where you put it. Just where, as long as it doesn't mess with the Summon Sorceress zone. So now we're going to target Venus, uh, the Lee. And we're going to use that to summon Venus from our deck in the other monster zone that Summon Sorceress has on our field. Now normally you would do like Eva plays and stuff like that. But with only one Lee in circulation, your Eva isn't going to be that strong. So like it just it, it just makes sense not to even mess around with trying to get Eva for her Herald into circulation or anything like that because the only fairy you have in your possession is Lee. You don't really have a lot that you can do with that. So this was this combo was sort of born out of that mindset. I was doing too little with Eva in these combo sequences with Undyne and World Legacy World Chalice, so I wanted to upgrade them. 
I wasn't too happy with them. But so carrying on, you're going to make the Lee and the World Legacy World Chalice that you have on your field into Ebe. And then you are going to make the Venus and the Summon Sorceress into Firewall Dragon. Now this is the point where having the monster in your hand is important. You're going to link the Guard Dragon into Link Karibo over the uh, Firewall Dragon. You're going to trigger its effect to Special Summon. Then you're going to trigger its effect to add back. You're going to add back the Guard Dragon that you just sent to Grave. And you're going to add back Venus from your Grave to your hand. Now if you didn't have the monster in your hand, you would just have the Guard Dragon on the field and you'd bounce just Venus with Firewall. And then you'd link Guard Dragon into Link Karibo and Special Summon Venus here. It would mean that you'd have to revive the Guard Dragon with Aurum after you did Gearsu draw 3, and you wouldn't be able to revive Firewall, but the combo is still intact in its uh, in its full form, except for the Firewall at the end. But so now you've got the Venus, so you just get to do your entire Venus shenanigans, getting balls out of your deck because you've summoned the Venus next to the Firewall, and you're going to go with Venus into these two balls. You need to clear the extra monster zone above the Firewall, so what we're going to do is we're going to make Nightmare Phoenix using Link Karibo and one of these Shine Balls into Nightmare Phoenix right here. And then we're going to use one of the Shine Balls into Imduk on top of the Phoenix. And then we get the last Shine Ball out of our deck with Venus to get the Shine Ball right over here. And now we're going to make that into another Imduk. And now here is where the combo uh, is kind of interesting. A lot of people here, if you presented them with this board... They would link away the Phoenix and the Imduk into Ningirsu right here, and then use the uh, the Imduk to special Guard Dragon out of their hand and draw three, and leave the Firewall here. But that's actually just not optimal. The way you get this to work in the most optimal form and fashion is that you go Firewall and Phoenix into Ningirsu here. The Ningirsu gets the trigger, and you draw your three cards. Now at this point, you still have the Lee's Graveyard effect that you have yet to activate if you wanted to add it back. Uh, so you could if you wanted to doesn't really particularly matter, but at this point you've drawn three off Ningirsu, you have these two Imducks up here, and you have this Eep here. I really like this combo sequencing as well, because what it does is it leaves the Venus on your field after doing all this sort of stuff, which means if you do draw something like Exodius, some sort of bomb card that like shuffles cards back, you're able to play it, and then you're able to just resolve Venus again for more Link shenanigans. You could literally just put all these into a Saryuja, and then Sar uh, Exodius your entire graveyard back into your deck, and then you could literally start going again with Venus, and it's actually kind of wild. But this also leaves you the perfect amount of resources to do what we're actually going to be doing today. And that is we're going to link with the, uh, the two Imducks into Aurum above the Ningirsu. And we're going to use the Imducks Grave Effect to special summon Guard Dragon here. And then from here we're going to link into Topologic Gumblar Dragon with the Ningirsu and the Venus. And then we're going to use Aurum's Effect, tributing the Eeb, to revive Firewall Dragon next to the Gumblar. So, we have this, the Gumblar triggers, Firewall is live, we uh, don't really have to mess around with anything, so we discarded those two cards, and hold on, go to the other client, there we go, and so now what we have is we have four cards in hand still, we got a live Gumblar play for uh, our opponent during their draw phase, so we're going to do that. New, no. and now during the draw phase, you get to activate the Link Karibo, and we send the Guard Dragon to Grave. And then you get to Special Summon the Link Karibo next to Firewall. The Gumblar triggers. And then you get to just discard two more cards. And then your opponent has to discard two more cards as well. And so what I do really like about this is that the Firewall Dragon's effect is still alive. So if you discarded any hand traps like we did, we had the Ash Blossom in our hand that I put there to start the combo sequence with. If you discarded that off Gumblar, you could just go ahead and shotgun Firewall to add it back to your hand. Because one of the worst things that you get hit with if you Gumblar for four without a Trigate Wizard is your opponent just going like Engage or summoning Mech Knight Blue Sky under the, uh, under these two guys, stuff like that. Uh, if you're able to add back like Ash to your hand that you discarded off the Gumblar, then you can just easily mitigate that by just going Ash on the Engage or like Ash on whatever cards they're going to uh, play. But then from here, you're basically well set. You still got two cards in your hand at bare minimum. Uh, and, uh, like, all this other stuff uh, you basically have uh, access to. You've got the World Legacy World Chalice Engraved to banish for succession searches next turn. Um, you've got still got this in your graveyard to banish for a vanilla, so you're able to combo up further during the following turn. Uh, like, there's just a lot that you have access to. The only thing you have left in your extra deck is the Saryuja. You do use everything. Uh, but, like, obviously, if you're playing something like Exodius, you could have mitigated that by resetting. Or you could, like, in this instance, I could just bounce Exodius to my hand if I don't need the Ash Blossom with the Firewall. And then Exodius is a 
literal hard reset button. Alright, so now this one's Undyne plus Brilliant Fusion and also needing a monster in your hand to legally trigger Firewall. So what you're going to do here is the very first thing you're going to do is you're going to activate the Brilliant Fusion for multiple reasons. One, if you have other combo cards in your hand, it baits your opponent's Ash Blossom. Two, it basically uh, allows you to do things in a way that gets stuff out of the way in the most economical way possible for this deck. So, what you're going to do is you're going to summon Gym Knight Seraph Knight off your Brilliant Fusion, sending Lee and Garnet to the grave, and then you're going to use your additional normal summon Seraph Knight provides on the Genix Undyne. Using Undyne's effect, sending Rosenix, adding Controller to your hand, and then only here, only from here, are you going to use Lee's Grave effect, sending Seraph Knight to grave and adding Lee to your hand. And now, we're basically off to the races. So, you're going to use Rosenix, banishing for a token, and then you are going to make the Link Spider again. Then you're going to use Link Spider's effect, specialing the Gen X controller, and you're going to make that into Imduk. Imduk. And then you're going to make uh, the... Blah, 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 the... <laughs> the Reproducus here. I was sort of blanking for a second, because I was starting to mix combos in my head. But so you're going to change the type of this Imduk into a Dinosaur, and then you are going to go ahead and make Summon Sorceress. This Imduk is going to trigger. You are not going to use Summon Sorceress. You're going to special the Lee here, and then the Lee's effect is going to trigger, searching for a World Legacy World Chalice. Now you may be thinking to yourself, but you don't have an Imduk. You can't normal summon that card. I beg to differ. Because I normal summoned the Undyne off of Seraph Knight using the additional normal summon then, I'm still able to utilize my normal summon now, regardless of having Imduk on my field or not. So, that's really the, the nice way this gets to handle itself. So you go summon Sorceress into the Venus, summon it to the field, and then you get to additional normal summon, uh, or actually I guess properly normal summon, your World Legacy World Chalice, and then you get to link these two into Eeb, the World Legacy World Chalice will trigger, and you get to summon a Lee and a Guard Dragon, or the Vanilla if you're running a Vanilla in your deck. Uh, Lee can go anywhere, Guard Dragon over here, and then from here it's just basically the exact same thing we were dealing with before. You go these two into Firewall Dragon, you have the monster in your hand so you can legally trigger Firewall in the way that we want to. So you make Link Kribo up here, Firewall triggers, activate Firewall's effect to add back Guard Dragon and the Venus. Where is it? There it is. Add those back to your hand, Firewall Dragon's effect to Special Summon resolves, you get Venus and then you just get to do everything that we were already previously doing. So, get the Shine Ball, make Nightmare Phoenix with these two right here, use Venus's effect, trigger, summon this, and then make Imduk with it, make the second Imduk with the other with the uh, other Shine Ball, the last Shine Ball, and from there you're good to go. You get to do the full draw three play. Literally nothing changes other than the fact that you've added back Lee already, so you can't add it back if you wanted to or needed to, but the play is quite literally identical. You draw three off Ningirsu here, and then you get to go into Aurum with these two, which special summons the Guard Dragon from your hand here, and then you get to go into Gumblar Dragon here, and then you get to use Aurum, Tributing Eeb, bringing back Firewall Dragon here. Now what I like about this combo, if I haven't already said it, is that I like that it basically does all of this and thins your deck for the most amount of cards. It gets the entire Undyne engine out of it, it gets a healthy chunk of your World Chalice names out of the deck, and also gets the entirety of your Venus engine out of your deck by getting all the Shine Balls out of there. You get one Venus and three Shine Balls out of the deck. The deck is incredibly thinned of the excess baggage it has in it to be starter cards and starting plays and then you get to draw cards. Even the Brilliant Fusion goes a step further and gets the Garnet out of your deck. So you just get to draw cards while your deck is super thinned. You literally take three Shine Balls out, the Rosenix, the Controller, take a Venus out of the deck, take like three World Chalice names out of your deck, you take so many cards out of the deck and then draw three cards. You draw the maximum amount of cards that Ningirsu allows you to draw. And so it just lets you do, uh, lets you do some, some awesome stuff. Uh, but so basically you just do the exact same thing we did in the other combo sequence because it's Gumblar for four. It shouldn't be hard, right? So you do this Gumblar For two. I'm seeing if I can discard. Oh, so I got to keep the Ash Blossom. So that's neat So don't even have to use the firewall bounce on Ash if I need to. It's basically RNG at that point if you're getting rid of hand traps 
But I mean, like, it's still something you'd want to have, basically, if that's not clear. And also, if you had something like World Legacy World Chalice in your hand as well, like a spare one off the draw, you could put that on the board as well with Firewall's special that triggers off the Guard Dragon going to Grave. There's a lot of different things that you can expand upon this with, is my point. But basically, this is what I wanted to show you for this video. Undyne essentially is... I, I used to make the joke that Undyne is like a worse Venus, but now it's just Undyne is Venus. Undyne directly accesses Venus from your deck with either Brilliant Fusion or World Legacy World Chalice as its extender, which is fine because those were the only two combos that were really amazing with Undyne anyway, and it can still do Undyne plus Lee into this exact same play as well, but you just are required to have a card like Shade Brigandine to go with it so that you can uh, summon Shade Brigandine and make another Imduk to get your additional normal summon for World Legacy World Chalice at the point after you summon Sorceress. So it becomes like a three card combo there, but that combo doesn't require you to have another monster in your hand for the uh, for the legal activation of Firewall Dragon because you have one extra monster on the board because of Shade Brigandine being thrown into that, uh, just for example's sake. So there's a lot of different ways you can go about this. I actually personally really like these combo sequences. I like what they allow the deck to do. Undyne literally accesses Venus from your deck in all of its good combos now. So like... That's sort of cool. That's sort of good. It's more ways to Venus. It's more ways to literally the best card in your deck. So you can't really say anything else about it than that. You literally can't find that much fault in it if it's accessing the best card in your deck. So anyway, as always, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Interested in hearing feedback and all that sort of stuff. If you have a positive comment or a suggestion you'd like to leave, then definitely feel free to do that as well. But other than that, as always, like the video if you liked what you saw and want to see more stuff like this. Make some suggestions if you'd like to see more decks with combos that I could actually try and showcase and maybe optimize and do some stuff with. And if you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content, consider subscribing if you haven't already. But other than that, as I've already said, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for your time as usual. And take care. I'll see you in the next video.